right, you guys, so, this is, I'm not sure if it's going to be a very interesting or special video to you guys, but it is a very special video for me to make anyway. I got a box here that somebody sent me a gift, so that's why it's so special to me. It's the first person I had that asked me if they could send me a gift. And she's a really sweet lady. She's another YouTuber. Um, Tease World of Adult Coloring. She does coloring books and diamond paintings. I believe she's going to have a few diamond painting videos. So if you guys like my videos, you should go check hers out. But she asked me if she could send me a gift. So, I am very interested to see what she decided to send me. I could not believe that she asked to send me a gift. I was, I was shocked. I, I just was so shocked by it and so happy about this. It doesn't matter if I like it or not. I, I love that she was nice enough that she asked me if she could send me something. So... No matter what it is, I appreciate it. I did tell her though that there's no guarantee I'm gonna work on it right away, but I would like to give it a try. So. <laughs> it's probably gonna be the biggest painting I have in my collection, right? So, I see like a barn here and holy crap, is that sparkly? Oh, that picture is so sparkly. Huh. Alright. I didn't look. Are they right there? Okay, it's enough. Hey, come here. Give me a little one. Wrong little one. <laughs> so I didn't look. Did they write their sizes on the box? Yeah. Hey, 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 I think that would mean it would be my largest paintings, or quite similar, because I think mine is like, what, 40 by 70? Or was it like 50 by, I don't know. <laughs> so, you got this little face here. <laughs> well, the cap, oh, this canvas, okay, I've been trying to explain this feel. Now I have a better way to explain it for you guys. So, I bought a canvas a while ago on Amazon from a seller that their canvases felt like this does. It was this soft material with like this furry feel to the background. Wow. Um, actually, I think that one was a little more furry feeling than this one is. But this is very similar to one of the canvases I was trying to explain that I got off of Amazon. So, as I was saying, I got distracted. There was an Am a seller that, or they were a supplier. They supplied a few different sellers on Amazon that made canvases that felt like this. They were smaller ones though. They were uh, like 25 by 35 drill area or something like that. And they wrote the drill area, but they had this, this soft, maybe a little more furry than this. And I thought more canvases should be made like that. I was obsessed with that canvas when I found it, even though I wasn't really obsessed with the paintings on those ones but I don't think the supplier makes them anymore. So, yeah, but this is the feel I was trying to get at. This is what I was trying to talk about. So if anybody's ever opened one of these Diamond Art Clubs, then they know the, can the feel of that one canvas I was talking about. And it was a pretty decent price canvas for that too. It was a 25 by 35 for a two pack for like 10 bucks or something. So I wish more places did make them. 
Oh boy, this looks huge. <laughs> I don't know why it looks bigger than the other ones when I feel like it kind of is and kind of isn't. Like, maybe it's because it's like big this way and this way where I'm used to like longer, narrower paintings. What was the size? 56 by 71. So yeah, I think I'm used to like 40 by 70 or 40 by 100. So I think that's just why this looks so big is because of that. But it's like farm. It's like a farmhouse style, kind of. Like, is that what you would call that? To me, it kind of looks like a farmhouse barn, you know, older style housing. Got like this here that kind of looks like a red barn but looks like it was converted into a house or something and then like this brick style house kind of looks like it has a barn side here huh god is their box sparkly enough for you though so i have never seen a diamond art club in person or touched one or anything so I have no idea how different this is going to be than all of my others, but... <laughs> so... You got stickers, and they're already pre-cut for you. Uh, Bluebird Song. You see the birds? That's a horse head! There's a horse head in here. So it is some style of barn kind of interesting that it's brick and that this red part is actually the house normally you see like a red barn you know so that that's a different and then you have a well with a barrel on it huh there's a cute little bunny i wonder how that is going to show up i wonder if you can tell there's a cute little bunny there when you're done <laughs> interesting all right so there is a lot of colors to this how many colors are there $50. Um, what's the most colors I've ever had in a painting? I think the most colors I've ever had in a painting was somewhere around 35, I think. And I'm not even sure I've done a painting with that many colors in it. But I think the most I've gotten in a painting somewhere around 35. The most I've done in a painting for sure has been right at that 30 mark, I know for a fact, but I'm not sure the most colors I've ever done. Look at those drills. So yellows and blues and oranges and grays and blacks and I already said the red. It's like every color. There's literally a little bit of every color. The yellow is sparkly. Do they mark the sparkly ones on here? I think these are sparkly, right? Because they're under <laughs> the 310 so I think those are the sparkly ones I think that's how it works hmm. and other canvases I've got before that did have ABs had like an A in front of the number or something to indicate it was an AB so you knew for a fact you know that way but I think something about the number also tells you if they're ABs or not I'm not sure so I'm gonna open this so the yellow sparkles the blue here looks like it's another shiny color um i think i'm just seeing those two shiny but again i think it might be more than those two because the yellow this number and the blue is one of these two numbers so I think those four might be shiny again I've never opened one of these I don't know much about them other than you know people like them and they pay the artist and I like that they pay the artist but the price on these canvases and stuff I just so <laughs> I just I can't believe it sorry Yes, I'm holding them upside down. I know it's going to be hard to put these back in the bag, but 
I am curious. Oh, little yellow got into the blue. I like this this like powdered blue, purple and blue. I like those like pastel powdered. Okay, so this is definitely shiny. It's definitely extra sparkly. Wow, this purple has a lot of extra randoms mixed in with it. The red has a few. Okay, so the yellow is shiny. The blue we saw earlier was shiny. So there is two shiny colors. Okay. I have verified two shiny. Which again, like I said, I'm not crazy about the ABs, especially if they use them too heavily, so definitely isn't a bad thing in my mind to have only two. I'm sorry about the bags. I took them out, now I gotta put them back. <laughs> so, again, I don't know if the video is gonna mean anything to anybody else, but I was extremely happy that she offered and just the offer alone means everything to me so this is cool though I want to see how it looks I want to see if it feels any different to work on too so I will have to give it a try at some point right now I'm working on canvases but I really do want to give it a try yeah I did not fold those right well I did not fold them right at all, but I will stop messing with the bag. So. Um. Again, if you want to go check her out, you definitely should go check her out. Uh, it's Tea World of Adult Color. Coloring. Tea's World of Adult Coloring. Um, I will have the name in the description for you guys but yeah she was very sweet and offered to send me a canvas and <laughs> definitely different okay. well so this was one of the videos I was talking about in some of my other videos that I, you know, I couldn't wait to do this because it's a gift. So Now I just got to try to straighten this out. And if you can tell, I don't have that much space to work with. <laughs> so it looks like it might just fit this way. And then I'm going to have to try to store it. And because it's so wide, I don't know if it'll fit in my box that I've been storing my others in. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. Like I said, she is a super sweet lady. I have talked to her a bit, not just offered me a painting and that's all. I have talked to her a bit, so. I'm going to have to relook at the biggest canvas that I have because I know I just told somebody the biggest canvas I had in one of my comments and that's why I feel like it was something like a 40 by 110 or something but feeling this canvas seeing how big it is in the space I, I'm really questioning that because this just seems so much bigger. <laughs> I kind of understand how some of you guys have issues with trying to figure out how to put this on your easel and stuff now, though. Because mine, with them not being as tall and as wide, just going in one direction. So. Yeah. But. 
Again, though, I would say this is one of the ones that the picture doesn't look as pretty on the canvas. I mean, I've, I've had a few canvases where the picture on the canvas looks identical to when it was done, you know? Like, you didn't need to put any drills on it and you could hang it up. And then I've had others where they look really good done, but you have to work on them to see that, so... This is kind of in, in between. That's so pretty. I gotta pause this for a second. Alright, so... Sorry about the interruption. Again? We got a nice size painting. I really need to do the math. I'm very curious on drill area. So it looks like there is dummy circles to these. Is there dummy circles to all the uh, diamond art clubs or just specific ones? I feel like most of the diamond art clubs I've seen have actually been squares, not rounds. So, and again, I don't, I haven't seen a lot of them. I don't know much about them. I feel like there was only one Diamond Art Club painting I really ever took any look at. So, I, I mean, I, I watched a few people unbox some or some, something, and then I've watched a few of you guys that are um, doing like that, what do you guys call it, your, your landscape project that you're all doing together. I, I've watched some of your progress on that, but some of that stuff, it just isn't as noticeable in some of those videos. So she even, she even wrote me a letter. <laughs> Again, she did not have to be this nice. Look at that. That'd make a gorgeous diamond painting too, wouldn't it? The flowers and the butterflies and some map, I think, behind it. That's cool. So, uh, the letter kind of just says, you know, friendly YouTuber, happy mail from one to another, and stuff like that. I'm not actually gonna put that on there for you guys, but that was a sweet little letter. And, of course, like I said, just the fact that she even offered to send me that painting, I, so sweet. So... If you guys haven't checked out her videos, which you honestly should have by now, I'm guessing. But if you haven't checked out her videos, do go check them out. Again, Tea's, Tea's World of Adult Coloring. So, I will have it linked below. And thank you, thank you for the, the painting. I'm sure you're going to watch this, so thank you. Um, and then, she also was super sweet and got my mom some stuff, but my mom can't be here to open them with me so I'm just gonna be giving her her stuff so I can put an update in the description how mom enjoyed it or just let her know how mom enjoyed it but she was nice and sent both me and my mom some stuff so that was sweet all right hope you guys have a nice day or had a nice day and thank you for watching <laughs>